Berkelium 249 is element 97. Calcium is element 20. 20 plus 97 make 117 when you fuse the two of them together. For three months, continuous chemical separation took place. This was the only place in the world that that amount of material could be produced in that reactor. Oak Ridge and Vanderbilt together played very key roles. The target was made in a reactor institute in Russia. You accelerate the calcium in a cyclotron and then bombard the target. That's 10 to the 19th atoms of berkelium being bombarded by 10 to the 19th atoms of calcium to produce six atoms of 117. A Russian theorist made a correction to then current theory that includes shell structure for the protons and neutrons like you have shell structure for the electrons in an atom. When people calculated the lifetime, they predicted there should exist an island of stability, an island in which the lifetimes in the center of that island would go up to hundreds, thousands, maybe even millions of years. The closest they came was element 112, but it only had 165 neutrons compared to 184. The lifetime for 112 was 0.7 milliseconds. 0.7 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds. Our isotopes of 113 and 111 are down in the 16 seconds, 8 seconds range. So it's clear that we have not gotten to the middle of the island, but we've certainly landed on the shores of the island. It's a major international cooperation in which neither country could have done the experiment without the other. It's tremendously important that we have verified that that island of stability is there and that uh, we now need to probe it and make use of it because it opens up all sorts of possibilities that no one really believed you would ever reach.